Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be sharing with you the most economical way to CC your chambers and your cylinder heads. Okay guys, so here's what we got. I went to Tractor Supply. Now this was a while back. A couple months ago I bought two of these syringes. They're cattle syringes for giving, it says for veterinarian use only. Uh, a two pack was $5.99 or right at six bucks. Um, now these are 60 milliliters. One milliliter equals one cc. All right, so I use that and I just use water to fill it with. The second thing is, this is a CD case cover, okay? You know, like when you open the CD up, CD's in there and I just take the paper out of it and I drill a little hole right there. And uh, you'll see how that works here in a minute. Now this hole is the same size as this syringe so I don't spill anything. Uh, and these usually last me a couple times, you know, they, they do crack and break after the grease gets on them and stuff. Um, but this is a very simple process and uh, I'll show you how I do it. Now if you read on the forums and stuff like that, everybody, oh, what CC are your heads? You need to have the machine shop CC your heads. Well, you don't have to have them do it. You can invest one time in the stuff and use it over and over again. Um, so I take a little grease and I rub it thinly across the head surface. Um, so that we get a good seal. It's just this is just regular grease. There ain't nothing special about it. Uh, make sure you don't get any in the chambers, because anything you get in the chambers will deduct from your CCs on um, when you're measuring. Okay, so I think that's good enough. All right. Uh, next thing is you want to make sure this. I, if, if you can tell, I got this head on an angle, right? So this is the highest point of this head right now, just like you would do when you bleed brakes. Uh, you want to take this hole and put it at the highest point so that you don't get any air bubbles trapped in there. Then you just take and press down around and you can see the grease smooth out and seal up. Now I do have a low spot there so I'm going to take and put a little more grease. Try it again. Okay. So I'm happy with the way that sealed up. Alright, next thing you do is you take your water and your syringe, you suck it full. And you take, turn it upside down to where it's up like this and squeeze everything out all the way up to 60 cc's. Alright, so you want your black line right there at 60, 60 milliliters. You want your syringe full. So then I insert it in the hole. Now this is a set of 049 big block Chevy heads. Um, they generally take, I don't know, some people say it's 130 cc chambers. Uh, I think these can be a little less. The heads have been milled, we've got bigger valves in it. So that was 60. Now we're going to refill our syringe. Get all the bubbles out of it, get all the air out of it, and drop it back down to 60 cc. So now we know we have 120 cc of fluid total. So we're going to go and keep filling. Now this one it should get pretty close. Okay. So we are at 5 cc's left and this is full. You've seen a drop come out of there. So you take 120 and subtract 5. That's 115 cc's. Now I've done this three times and that's what I come up with every time is 115 cc's. So you have two 60 milliliter tubes that is 120 total and then there was five left over. So we're going to subtract that extra five from the 120 and get 115. Now what we'll do is we'll go to our compression calculator. I use the one on Summit, Summit Racing. Um, and I'll put in 
put in my compression ratio or put in a cylinder bore and all that stuff and CC on chambers uh, I use a 20 thousandths head gasket and then I have about a 10 thousandths deck height so we're gonna put that in and see what see what it comes up with okay guys so we went to the calculator we put in our bore which is 4.310 uh, it's a 60 over 454 we put in our stroke which is 4.0 we put in our dome on our pistons which is 30 cc's um, we put in the chamber volume which is 115 cc's and uh, we put in a 10 thousandths deck height and a 20 thousandths gasket uh, for eight cylinders and we come up with a 11.3 to 1 uh, compression ratio now that's a little, quite a bit higher than what I was shooting for um, so we might run a thicker gasket we might leave it like it is and just run some race gas in it um, but uh, we'll see um, I want to thank you all again for watching and um, remember like subscribe comment and we'll see you back next time God bless thank you